you guys didn't show all the video of all the times I've gotten it wrong, so do not take me to Vegas with you. We are in Leesburg this morning, and this is NBTF, Never Been... Uh, never born to follow uh, and this is the band that opened up last week at Capital One Arena when Bon Jovi played Monday night and as you had to tell some of your friends at school the real Bon Jovi the real Bon Jovi <laughs> people didn't believe you at first <laughs> no I don't know I think maybe they thought it was like a cover band or something <laughs> like that and then we I don't know we showed them the video of us playing and the picture of us with John and they're like oh so you met like like Bon Jovi like living on a fair Bon Jovi <laughs> So talk about the experience. You entered a contest with Big 100, and then you guys won. Yeah, um, so they just wanted us to submit a video of us playing an original song live. Um, it was a competition for unsigned bands, and uh, we are one, so if you know any record labels. <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to find a connection for you. Tell us, guys, what it was like, Nick, uh, when you guys were actually on the stage. Were you guys scared and nervous the entire time? Like, ten minutes beforehand, we were absolutely, like, terrified, I think. But when it got down to, like, that two-minute mark, we were just, we went into autopilot. You know, we just, it was just amazing, you know, playing in front of all that many people. You know? And you got to meet Bon Jovi. How was John? He was awesome. Uh, he joked around with us. Uh, we, we met him in a hallway and, like, you know, got to stand with him for a few minutes and, like, you know... Joked around with Alan, gave us some good advice, so that was that was awesome. Excellent. Well, we're in the basement of Derek's house right now here in Leesburg, so we want them to perform, but we're going to keep it quiet here in the neighborhood for a little bit longer. Coming up after 6.30, they'll perform for us live right here on Good Morning Washington. Back to you guys. What? Bates went to the Capital One Arena on the main stage opening for Bon Jovi. That is exactly what these guys did one week ago when Bon Jovi was in town at Capital One Arena. Please meet NBTF. We are in their basement right now here in Leesburg. And Zach, tell us what that experience was like opening for Bon Jovi. It was just incredible. It was unlike anything we had ever, you know, experienced before. Like I still don't think we've really wrapped our heads around, you know, what we went up there and did. Like it was we we went up there, we performed, you know, we, we put on the, sh the best show we could and we just couldn't be happier with what happened. And we should point out this is a contest that Bon Jovi holds with radio stations across the country. They entered it here locally with Big 100. But most of the time, it is not high school bands that win. So when you guys found out that you had won, uh, it must have been amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic being a high school band opening up for Bon Jovi. What, what more could you want? Yeah. By the way, they were the only opening band for Bon Jovi. They're going to play for us right now here on Good Morning Washington. We'll have much more with them coming up after 7 o'clock on News Channel 8. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Bon Jovi performed at Capital One Arena uh, last Monday night. These guys, NBTF, were the opening band. And this morning we're in Derek's bedroom plus slash band rehearsal space. Yeah, practice studio. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we've been talking all morning long. We've been watching the video. Maybe people at home don't realize they were not the opening band for the opening band. They were the actual opening band. The yeah. only opening band. The only opening band. It was us and then Bon Jovi, so second bill. Right. And you actually were able to hand John Bon Jovi your music and say, hey, take a listen to this. Yeah, that was a pretty incredible experience. Um, what did he say? Uh, yeah, when we gave it to him, I mean, we were, we were kind of qualifying it with all these, I mean, like, don't judge it too harshly. It's a little bit roughly recorded. But um, when, he, when he got it, um, he basically said, I mean, listen, boys. Uh, what really matters is the quality of the songs. Nobody cares about the recording quality. I mean, if the songs are good, they're going to connect with an audience. We should uh, point out that, of course, we're in Loudoun County right now, and Loudoun Youth Battle of the Bands is a competition that you guys were part of twice, and you won last year. Yeah, we won last year, first place. It was the first time we won, and we like, we like to thank them for helping out with all this stuff. And, you know. Yeah. But it's important that if there weren't competitions like that and places for outlets for you guys to be able to perform like that, maybe you would never have entered this contest with Big 100 to perform for Bon Jovi. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's a great opportunity for you know local um, bands and talent in the area because there's there's so much talent like in this area that they just they just don't have you know many places to play and show their talent. But like a competition like that was a great opportunity for that. You know, they were saying back at the station earlier this morning, if there's ever been a band that's been performing in their parents' basement and had a dream to be on the big stage, dreams do come true. Yeah, no, just keep working at it, guys. Excellent. I mean, all right, take it away here. They're going to perform for us right now on Good Morning Washington. And you can follow them on Instagram. NBTF Band is how you can find them. All right, take it away, guys.
Welcome back to Good Morning Washington. I'm Kid O'Shea around town. We're in Leesburg right now. Imagine being a band, rehearsing in your parents' basement, and then ending up on the stage at Capital One Arena opening for Bon Jovi. That's what this band did last week. This is NBTF, and we are with them this morning. And, Zach, tell us about that experience. We're looking at the video right now of you guys on the stage at Capital One Arena. Is it still hard to believe that that was just a week ago? It's still hard to believe that that was just a week ago. It's hard to believe we did it, like, in general. That, that was just an incredible experience that we had never even come close to, you know, having before. And we're just we're so thankful and grateful for the opportunity. And you guys entered a contest with Big 100. And, by the way, this is a contest that Bon Jovi does with radio stations across the country. But most of the time, the people that win those contests are not a group of high school students. Did you guys think that was pretty cool that uh, you got chosen? Yeah, we thought that was extremely, like, extremely cool, yeah. you know, being a high school band. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, tell everybody at home what it was like to uh, play. I mean, when I showed my parents the tweet that Bon Jovi, like, sent out to his fans, my parents didn't believe me at first. They thought it was a scam. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, once, once we got the news, you know, my parents started telling all of their friends and family you know, it, was just, it was just a great experience for all of us. That's awesome. Derek, you, what's next for the band? Uh, a week after now opening for Bon Jovi, you must be getting calls from record companies across the country. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not as much uh, money in uh, the music industry as maybe there was at one point. Uh, but, I mean, we're just trying to, you know, get our name out there, just capitalize on this, like, tremendous opportunity that we've had. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really just playing shows. I mean, trying to increase our social media following. Um, NBTF band at Instagram. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Get that out there. By the way, earlier this morning, Good Morning Washington, Derek did tell us they are not signed yet, but maybe soon. All right. They're going to perform for us right now here on Good Morning Washington. Congratulations to you guys. Take it away. Welcome back to Good Morning Washington. We are in Leesburg where we've been hanging out all morning long with the band that opened for Bon Jovi last week at Capital One Arena. This is MBTF, and we're in Derek's bedroom, right? Can we tell everybody at home that this is your bedroom? Yeah, my bed's normally right over there, but we moved it for this performance. <laughs> this is also your rehearsal space? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dual function, right? Hey, uh, talk about going from your bedroom to the Capital One Arena and playing on that stage. No, I mean, it was such a surreal moment for us. I mean, that's just not the kind of thing that happens to real people who, like, play real instruments. I mean, yeah. It's pretty incredible, and you got to meet Bon Jovi and spend some actual time with John Bon Jovi, like, six minutes, you said. That's a long time. Yeah, no, it was really cool. It was a really neat experience. I mean, he was such a nice guy. I mean, so um, I mean, so warm to us. Uh, yeah, he really took more time than he needed to to make it a really special uh, experience for well, us. We're looking at the video and pictures of all of that. I want to talk to Jesse over here, who plays the saxophone. And uh, we were saying earlier that like you guys were the only opening band. It wasn't like you were opening for the opening band. Yeah, um, I think my mom asked me a good five or six times, "Are you the only opening band?" or <laughs> Or, or, or are there other bands playing? And this was just like part of the barrage of like, no one really could understand what was going on. Like they, they all thought like it was like, like a cover band, <laughs> like not a not, not a the real Bon Jovi. Yeah, it was, and even myself, I couldn't really. I still have trouble wrapping my head around what exactly happened. But how many times have you watched that video over and over, Zach? It's going on probably I think uh, you know seventy thousand maybe. It's, it's 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 so just surreal to see like you know the five of us up there doing that you know when really a week before that we were down here you know practicing for it and it's it was just incredible. And uh, some of you guys went to middle school together. How long have you been a band? We've been a band for two and a half years. About yeah, it was all of our our uh, sophomore years and mix, uh, freshman year. And you won a battle of the bands contest locally. Yeah, we did. Um, we did it two years in a row. Um, the first year we did, we got third place. We, you know, we weren't that tight together yet. But the second year, we had a lot of experience together, wrote a lot of songs, and we got first place the second year. So that's awesome. We should talk about the fact that you had to write a submit an original song to be able to compete in this uh, contest with Big One Hundred, who held the contest for Bon Jovi. So it was all original music. 
Yeah, so um, we submitted a song called Broken Child, and uh, we ended up playing that as well. I mean, if you have been watching this broadcast, you've heard it a couple times as well. Well, excellent. I think people have been watching all morning long following MBTF. How can they follow you guys on social media? Um, we have an Instagram, we have Facebook, MBTF Band for both of them. Um, hopefully we'll get a Twitter soon, but yeah, get our music on iTunes, all that stuff. Follow MBTF. And you've been compared to by some Pearl Jam, a mix between Pearl Jam and Dave Matthews Band. Yeah, that's what we've heard. Um, <laughs> that's quite the compliment. Yeah, no, I mean, it's two groups. Maybe uh, you wouldn't associate with each other, but, I mean, two really strong lyricists. I mean, two really awesome groups of players. So. In the short time I've been hanging out with you guys, I think you have a bright future ahead of you. Uh, so why don't you perform here for us right now on Good Morning Washington. Great to meet you guys. Congratulations. They open for Bon Jovi. You saw them first here in Derek's bedroom on Good Morning Washington performing live right now.